with coverage you can count on. This is CBS 11 News at 4. New hope for couples trying to have a baby. Shannon Horry gives us new insight into new infertility technology. Well, here's a subject that causes a lot of stress in a lot of relationships. Infertility affects more than 6 million women and their partners across the country. That's right, Jody. But now there's surprising new research that may crack the case and offer some couples new hope. CBS 11's Shannon Horry explains. Little Claire is living proof miracles do happen. At least that's what her mom and dad believe after enduring years of frustration, trying and failing to get pregnant. felt like my body had failed me, that I couldn't do what I was meant to do, and that um, I felt an emptiness and void inside myself and my heart that could never be filled. Like millions of other couples struggling with infertility, Stephanie and Anthony Eppolite thought the in vitro fertilization industry could help. But after spending $25,000 at a Sacramento IVF clinic and no baby, despair set in. There was no hope. That all changed when they turned to Dr. Tom Hilgers at the Crichton University School of Medicine. He's pioneered a radically different but successful approach to infertility called NAPRO technology. With NAPRO, women observe and chart their physical signs which provide key insights into fertility problems. That information can then be combined with new surgical and medical technologies. Well, NAPRO technology is a new women's health science that cooperates with the the human fertility process, it identifies what the underlying causes are and it treats it effectively. And it relies upon a natural act of intercourse to achieve pregnancy. Research in Hilger's new medical textbook shows NAPRO technology's success rates one and a half to three times higher than in vitro fertilization. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine declined to comment until they review the data on NAPRO technology. But for some couples, their new baby is all the proof they need. I'm Shannon Horry, CBS 11 News. Hope for some people. Mm -hmm. Reproductive health care professionals are learning more about the NAPRO technology at a global conference this week. For more information, you can log on to our website, CBS11TV.com, and click on News Links.